On April 28, the Universal Church celebrates the feast day of Louis Marie de Montfort, a 17th century saint who is revered for his intense devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Saint Louis Marie is perhaps most famously known for his prayer of entrustment to Our Lady. Tortus tuus ego sum, which means, I am all yours. The late Pope John Paul II took the phrase Tortus tuus as his episcopal motto. Born in Montfort, Brittany on January 31, 1673, Saint Louis Marie possessed a strong devotion to the Blessed Sacrament as a child and was also intimately devoted to the Blessed Virgin, especially through the Rosary. He took the name Mari at his confirmation. The saint manifested a love for the poor while he was at school and joined a society of young men who ministered to the poor and the sick on school holidays. When he was 19, he walked 130 miles to Paris to study theology, gave all he had to the poor he met along the way, and made a vow to live only on arms. After his ordination at 27, he served as a hospital chaplain until the management of the hospital resented his reorganization of the staff and sent him away. While a seminarian, he delighted in researching the writings of church fathers, doctors and saints as they relate to the Blessed Virgin Mary, to whom he was singularly devoted. Under Mary's inspiration, he founded the Congregation of the Daughters of Wisdom, a religious institute of women devoted to the care of the destitute, and the Company of Mary, a missionary congregation of men popularly known as Montfort Fathers. He also inspired the Congregation of the Brothers of St. Gabriel, committed to the education of the youth. In his apostolate, Montfort focused his zeal on calling people to conversion by renewing their baptismal promises. He did this through the practice of the rosary and the diffusion of an authentic Marian devotion. Saint Louis Marie discovered his great gift for preaching at the age of 32 and committed himself to it for the rest of his life. He met with such great success that he often drew crowds of thousands to hear his sermons in which he encouraged frequent communion and devotion to Mary. In Rome, Pope Clement XI conferred on him the title and authority of Apostolic Missionary, which enabled him to continue his apostolate after returning to France. He preached Mary everywhere and to everyone. He was one of the greatest apostles of the Rosary in his day, and by means of his miraculously inspiring books, The Secret of the Rosary and True Devotion to Mary, he is still so today. But St. Louis also met with opposition, especially from the Jansenists, a heretical movement within the Church that believed in absolute predestination, in which only a chosen few are saved and the rest damned. Much of France was influenced by Jansenism, including many bishops who banished St. Louis Marie from preaching in their dioceses. He was even poisoned by Jansenists in Rad or Shell, but survived though he suffered ill health after. After recovering from the effects of the poisoning, he wrote the masterpiece of Marian piety, True Devotion to the Blessed Virgin, which he correctly prophesied would be hidden by the devil for a time. His seminal work was discovered 200 years after his death. He died on 28 April 1716 at the age of 43 in France. Beatified on 22nd January 1888 by Pope Leo XIII, he was canonized on 20th July 1947 by Pope Pius XII. He is venerated as a patron of preachers. The cause for his declaration as a doctor of the church is now being pursued. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us pray. O God, who will to direct the steps of the priest St. Louis, along the way of salvation and of the love of Christ, in the company of the Blessed Virgin, grant us by his example that meditating on the mysteries of your love, we may strive tirelessly for the building up of your church, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen.